What is up guys, this is Jay here, Jay Media one and today we are back with another product tech review. Today we got the Blue Yeti. This thing's supposed to be a royal beast. This is the Blue Yeti USB mic for recording and streaming on PC and Mac. And it has four pickup patterns, it's got headphone output, it's got volume control, it's got mic gain control, it's got an adjustable stand, and it's plug and play. So we're going to give this thing a look today guys. We're just going to get right into it. See here we have the Yeti Blackout. And this is the box for it. It's got all these cool little pictures of Yetis on the back which is kind of neat. And then it has a definition of a Yeti. It's kind of neat. A bunch of different languages, support languages for it. And on this side of the box, it's got all the controls. What it looks like. This box is really well made as far as instructions and just design of it and it talks about recording and streaming applications it's got omnidirectional bi-directional stereo and cardioid and then this is just what it looks like so we're just going to get right into this thing there's a tab up here i did bring a knife today so we're going to slice through this little plastic tab that's all that's holding that in there then there's a little tab right here. We gotta pop that out. I think we got through all the plastic. Let's double check. Okay. So after that, we're just gonna pull the top, pop the top, and pull back the flaps. You see this little circle here? This thing is pretty good size. The box. We're going to have to get this out of the way. Fall out of the way, whatever works. Underneath here, we got another plastic tab. Good thing I brought a knife today. So we're going to slice through that one as well. Pull this flap up. And this is where we're going to get a look. Oh. Drop the cord. So on top, the cord is on top, right here. And it kind of fell out because I thought it opened from the side, but it does not. So this cord's pretty heavy duty. Not too bad. It is a USB to micro USB. Yuck. Not a big fan of those, but whatever. I like USB-C cables now. There's some foam on top. We're going to get rid of that. And there it is. There's the Yeti itself. Dang, this thing is heavy. It is heavy and it is meaty. It's got pretty good foam in there to package it with. This thing is a heavy duty mic. There is no doubt. And this is like the number one mic for a lot of people that stream and make videos and stuff. And I can see why now. Because this thing is just robust as heck. We get through the plastic. Some of the knees to because it's open at the bottom. Pull it out. <clears throat> oh yeah. This thing is a beast. So you get a little bit of reading material here how to set it up and it's got like this little thumb drive there it shows a picture of which is cool and then some more reading material over here safety guidelines and whatnots and it does come on the stand which I like a lot because it's already kind of set up there's some thumb screws here on the sides so you can loosen it up and then it rotates and it'll rotate right up like that and you can see right there, there's a mute button on top, and then there's a little volume knob. And then if you look underneath here, you can see it's got the good sized um, screw in, and that's for like if you're using a boom stand, or if you're using something of that caliper in order to uh, hold this, you know, like a mount. The stand itself is pretty heavy by itself. This thing is definitely a good five pounds. If you look on the other side, there is a gain button, so you can increase the gain if you like. And then there's a pattern button. This is the really cool part because it allows you to set it for omnidirectional, which means you can have somebody talking all the way on every side of this mic, and it will be able to pick them up. And then it's also got you know a little selector tool here, so you can make it so it just goes one direction towards me, or you can make it to where there's two people talking. Or there's two people side by side so there's just different patterns we'll get back to the bottom for a minute so there's your mic plug-in 
And then here is where you're going to plug in this guy. And this is the, uh, the USB. So this is going to give us our power right there. It's kind of disappointing that it didn't come with a, that it didn't come with the mic cord. That's crazy. You would think something like this would, but uh, maybe we missed it in the box. I'll double check. But I like the, the aesthetics of the stand. It's got this nice front here. You can see that a little bit better there. It's got this nice front that kind of swings out. It's heavy, heavy stand. And then underneath it, it's got these feet, which are just a soft foam. And then it's got the uh, blue signal, or the insignia, right on the front. So this thing's super nice. I'm going to plug it in and see what it sounds like through the computer. Okay, guys, we are back. And this is the mic set up. So this thing has a USB cable here. And what you're listening to is me through this. So if I turn it and it sounds different, that's because I don't have it set up for omnidirectional at this point in time. The USB cable comes through the bottom and it plugs directly into USB-A on your computer. But we're using this on a Mac right now. Macs do not have USB-A because they're all USB-C now. So we had to use a converter, but it still works just fine. You also have two little thimbles here, and those are for different adjustments. So you have one to change it from omnidirectional, which is probably this setting here. I haven't really read the instructions on it, but if you rotate the mic, it should sound about the same all the way around. Then you can set it on this one here, which kind of looks like a little bubble with an indent, and that's going to be just for you. Then you also have a volume, a gain adjustment, and that'll you can crank that up to be really, really loud, which I don't want to do that because it'll start to sound garbled, and it won't sound good anymore. So you have that. Then also on this side, you have mute. So you have this red mute button and you also have a volume button and the mute button is really cool because the mute button will flash when the mute is active so I'm going to do that right now so you guys can see and you can see how that mute button flashes and tells you that mute is active so you don't have to worry about accidentally muting your mic when it's not supposed to be muted so that's another cool feature this also has some accessories some pop filters some covers some different things like that that you can purchase which is nice the blue yeti has been around for a long time it's 99 dollars. doesn't cost a whole lot it comes highly recommended i've been searching for a good mic for a while I finally just kind of splurged on one and I was just basically trying some wireless ones. I have a Lavier that's wireless and if you guys watch some of my videos and you notice some drop off from audio quality or it just becomes like echoey in the background, it's because of that. <clears throat> so that mic is, uh, is bad because it drops a lot and it loses signal a lot and so we need a good mic and this one's cool because I can hook it up and operate it like this. I can operate it off of a boom, whatever works best in that given situation. For my videos, I do a lot of unboxing, so this is cool, but I also have a podcast. If you guys haven't seen that yet, check out the podcast. Just go to Apple podcast or Google podcast or um, we're on Spotify and type in J media one and you'll find us. Um, so this is cool for podcasting, things like that. We also have a website while we're talking about it, jmedia1.com. You guys can go there and shop for some really cool tech stuff that you won't find anywhere else. So now that we're done plugging ourselves, um, the stand is very robust and nice. It's got the plug on the bottom, so you can plug in the... And it's going to be hard to see unless I rotate it this way. But if you see that way, you can see right here, there, 
is where you plug in the headphones then this porthole right here is where you mount it on a boomstick or you can just quite simply use this mount which I really like this mount because it's super heavy it's not going to fall down um, this mic is high quality material this thing's heavy heavy duty this is not some cheap mic that you're going to find even though the price is not too expensive it's not cheap in quality and that's what's important so hopefully you guys got something from that um, we're gonna go over a few tech specs so this is a custom three capsule array it produces clear and powerful broadcast quality sound for YouTube game streaming podcast zoom calls and music you can use it for singing with the blue to blue voice software which is available for free you can craft the perfect broadcast vocal and entertain your audience with enhanced effects it has advanced modulation and HD audio samples Advanced Blue Voice is compatible with Yeti, Yeti Nano, and Yeti X. All of those. This one's just the Yeti. Um, there's four pickup patterns. It's got flexible, cardioid, omni, bi-directional, and stereo. So you can record in ways that normally would require several mics. It's got onboard audio controls, the headphone volume I showed you, the pattern selection, instant mute, and mic gain. And it's just got that cool positional pivoting mount that it comes with, which is fantastic. Uh, we really like that feature as well. And like I said, this stand is heavy. This thing is heavy by itself, even without the mic on it. So if you guys are looking for a good microphone, this is going to be the one for you, I believe. You guys be the judge of the audio quality, but overall, I really like it. And I haven't even tried it with the headphones yet. So definitely worth a look guys you guys can get your own in the product description below if you guys like this video make sure to mash the like button as always subscribe to the channel click on the bell the bell will notify you when there's new videos out we got some really good ones coming we got the DJI that's going to be the new video for the new drone the uh, SE mini which is supposed to be the best uh, we also have some Christmas videos coming out with some cool kids toys and things like that in the future So stay tuned keep an eye out for that check out the podcast check out the website and we will see you guys in the next one later